Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have a square root of 15 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 and its whole uh, power is 6. So we simplify uh, this algebraic expression into the simplified form. So uh, here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we just take its base is equals to x. So you see here its base is x and we write it as a square root of 15 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 okay so here we uh, choose uh, its base is equal to x then in order to uh, simplify this whole expression uh, here we need to find the value of uh, x to the power of 6 okay because when you substitute uh, this base equals to x then this expression becomes x to the power of 6 so now here uh, our next target is to find the the value of x to the power of 6 okay uh, so here uh, first we need to simplify the terms and now uh, you see here we have uh, x is equals to uh, square root of 15 minus uh, square root of 3 over 12 so here first we need to simplify these terms and we write it as uh, this is square root of 15 and we write it as 3 times of 5 becomes 15 and here you have a square root of 3 divided by this is the over uh, square root of 12 and we write it as 4 times of 3 is equals to 12. So further we apply here the nice uh, radical uh, radical law. So according to this radical law if you have uh, inside the radical sign is a product of two numbers then we separate this radical sign on both of these numbers and it will be written as a, a square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 5 minus square root of 3 is divided by a square root of 4 into square root of 3. So further you see here uh, we have square root of 3 be the common term uh, in the numerator sides. So uh, here we take common square root of 3 and the remaining terms are square root of 5 minus 1 divided by here we know that uh, the square root of 4 is equals to 2 into this is the over square root of 3. Okay, so you see here this square root of 3 is cancelled out by this square root of 3 uh, and this implies that square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. So here we have uh, the value of x is equals to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and now here uh, we move this 2 in the left hand side so it will be written as 2x equals to square root of 5 minus 1 and now here we need to separate this square root term so here we move this minus 1 in the left hand side and it will be written as 2x plus 1 is equals to square root of 5. So here first we remove this square root uh, sign in the uh, right hand side. So in order to remove this square root sign here we just take the scaling on both of the sides of this equation. Uh, so that um, it will be written as 2x plus 1 whole square equals to square root of 5 and its whole square. So here we need to apply uh, the nice square identity in the left hand side. Uh, so uh, here uh, we apply this nice formula and it will be written as a square plus b square plus 2 times of a and b is equals to this 2 and square root are gone and we get here 5. Okay, so further you see here we need uh, some simplification and we know that 2x uh, whole square equals to 4x square plus 1 square equals to 1 and 2 times of 2x equals to 4x and we move this 5 in the left hand side and it will become minus 5 equals to 0. So here further we need uh, some simplification and we write it as 4x square plus 4x and 1 minus 5 equals to minus 4 and this is equals to 0. So further uh, here we need to take common 4 and we get the remaining terms are x square plus x minus 1 equals to 0. And now here we need to divide both of the sides by 4. So when you divide both of the sides by 4 it will be written as in this form. This form 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get x square plus x minus 1 equals to 0 over 4 becomes 0. 
so here we move this uh, x and minus 1 to the right hand side and we get the value of x square equals to 1 minus x and we call this is our equation number 1 so because here we uh, need to solve this problem for the value of x to the power of 6 uh, so here now we write x to the power of 6 is equals to x square and its whole cubed so here we substitute this value of 1 minus x uh, in this equation so here we substitute the value of x square so the value of x square is 1 minus x we substitute it here and it will be written as x to the power of 6 is equals to 1 minus x and its whole cubed so further here we break uh, this term and we write it as 1 minus x whole square into 1 minus x uh, okay because here we write this term as 1 minus x and its exponent is uh, 1 plus 2 okay so we write this 3 as 1 plus 2 and we break its exponent and we write it in this form so here further we apply the square identity in the first factor so its first factor is written as a square plus b square minus 2 times of a and b and uh, and we have this is 1 minus x Okay, so further uh, you see here uh, we need uh, some simplifications here and we write it as 1 square equals to 1 plus this is x square and this is minus 2x into here we have 1 minus x. And now we uh, make the product of these two factors and here first we multiply this one on both of these terms and then we multiply each of these terms on both of these terms. So it will be written as uh, 1 multiplied by 1 equals to 1 and minus 1 times of x becomes x x square multiplied by 1 equals to x square x square multiplied by minus x equals to minus x cube and minus 2x multiplied by 1 equals to minus 2x and this is minus times of minus becomes plus into 2x square okay so further you see here we uh, need to add or subtract the like terms and uh, here we have first this is minus x cubed and after that uh, we have uh, this is x squared and this is also plus 2x squared so we add these two and you get here 2 times of x squared and here you have minus x and minus 2x equals to minus 3x and this is our plus 1 so this is the value of x to the power of 6 and now here we need to use the equation number 1 uh, so uh, from equation number 1 we have the value of x squared equals to 1 minus x so now here we need to substitute uh, x squared equals to 1 minus x so we write it as so here we break x cube we write x cube equals to x square into x okay so we uh, replace this x cube equals to x square into x so now we substitute this value on this term and it will be written as minus into 1 minus x into x and plus this is 2x square the value of x square is 1 minus x and this is minus 3x plus 1 and now further uh, here we need to simplify the term we multiply this x and minus on these terms then it will be written as minus x plus x square this is plus 2 minus 2x minus 3x plus 1 so here we again substitute the value of x square here but first we uh, uh, rearrange the terms so we have this is x square and minus x minus 2x minus 3x equals to minus uh, 6x and 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 so here we back substitute again the value of x square it is 1 minus x minus 6x plus 3 so we get here 1 plus 3 equals to 4 and minus x minus 6x equals to minus 7x so this is the value of x to the power of 6 and now here uh, we need to uh, back substitute the value of x because here in the start of the problem we will take here our x is equals to square root of 15 minus square uh, root uh, uh, here we write the uh, simplified value of x okay this is the simplified value of x is the square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 okay this is the simplified value of x uh, and now we substitute this value of x here and it will be written as 
x to the power of 6 equals to 4 minus 7 into square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and here we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM is 2 and we get here 8 minus 7 into square root of 5 plus 7 okay so 8 plus 7 is equals to uh, 15 minus 7 into square root of 5 and it is divided by 2 okay this is the final simplified value so here we put the value of x and it is a square root of 15 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12 and its whole power 6. So this is the final simplified form of this expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.